when you imagine a Spec Ops, you imagine the moment where you fight. But the experience we've discussed with uh, real former Spec Ops uh, during the development, there's also a full survival aspect. So adding that element to the game forces the player to engage with the world in a way that they haven't really had to before. And it's going to have an impact on the way the player will make decisions. Increasing the quality of what you're feeling. These elements heighten that experience of being immersed in the fantasy, but don't have to become the focal point unless you want them to. As long as you're interested by military spec up simulations, is only getting more real with this game. We are on a mission with Ghost Recon to recreate how it is to be a spec up behind enemy lines. And the feelings you have can be linked to the open world like with Wildlands, but can also, on top of this, linked to what you feel in survival situations. The survival aspect of this game was a real focal point in the development. So the key to remember is that the intent was not to shift genres from shooter to survival simulator. So at first, even with the team, it was quite dangerous, this world, because it can lead you to another type of game. And the first question was, if I don't drink, do I die? And uh, I didn't feel comfortable with the idea that the players had to manage to eat or to, uh, to, to drink. The way we use survival, it's not at all in this gamey meaning where it will be specific tedious tasks to handle. Why? Because we are talking about Ghost Recon. We are talking about a military simulation. When people come here, they want to feel like a spec up, they want to use uh, high-level weapons, they want to end up in survival, but exciting situations. While well, it was a massive open world, very exciting to play in, but sometimes the people said, you know what, I don't really feel in danger, and it was reducing the quality of the simulation. By adding those elements, we're actually increasing the quality of what you're feeling, but we are not going against like, our pillars. This is not a survival game, it's more about imagination. It led us to the idea that maybe it could be a positive gameplay. If you manage uh, the right way, if you find food, if you are able to craft, then it will give you more advantages. The important thing was to immerse the player in a world that feels more real. The survival elements are a great aspect of that because in combat, like in any sort of physical endeavor, fatigue, hunger, dehydration, these are very real elements that you have to contend with. There is the time that you spend traveling in a very uh, hostile environment, when you are wounded and that you have to heal yourself, the time you spend resting and preparing for battle, and this is the feeling of survival that we wanted to bring. A way to understand how we are integrating elements like hunger or thirst in our game system is to talk about the bivouac. At the core of the bivouac, there is the idea of having a camp and taking this moment to relax, prepare strategically and tactically, and interact with the other buddies. It's the moment where you can exchange stuff with other spec ops. It's the moment where you can choose some temporary buffs. And it's the moment where you can basically heal yourself for the next action. And there are three levels of injury. The very first, doesn't affect you that much. It's more the animation, it's more feeling. But the second one and the third one, they have strong gameplay consequences. And then for instance, if you are injured at the level three of injury, yes, you can move, but it's very <laughs> painful and you can only use your handgun. And if you are hunted by the wolves, uh, it becomes very, very hard. It may lead you to the game over. For us, it was very important to balance the feeling of power that you have being an elite soldier and at the same moment uh, showing that you can be vulnerable. 
And we believe that by making the ghost sometimes wounded, by making them tired, by showing everything that can be or the dark aspects of the life you can live when you are a spec ops, it also unfazes how uh, powerful, how skilled, how competent the ghost uh, can be. Everything is a matter of contrast and showing their vulnerability also shows better the moment where you shine.